came from the back and you were sitting in the same chair. Okay. Okay, good evening everybody. Welcome to the Fulton Street Collective. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tonight is our first virtual benefit for Fulton Street Collective. Let's give it up for that. Yeah, cool. This is live stream concert. I counted on number 127 since we started doing this last April. Um, uh, and Roy McGrath Trio was kind enough, generous enough to say, hey, uh, we're going to be playing there. Let's turn it into a benefit. So that's what we have before you right now. And as we do with all of our performances, accompanied by a live visual artist, Tonight's live visual artist on canvas and trampoline is Louis Ackenbach. Yeah. Woo. So I can't even concentrate with this going. So Louis is going to be painting the band as they perform, and then uh, throughout the show you can bid on his artwork uh, on the lower left hand of your side of your screen. That is how we're doing everything. That is the virtual donation jar. That's how we take care of. Uh, everything tonight. Uh, if you want to bid on the artwork, you can uh, email info at FultonStreetCollective.com. Uh, we're also going to be putting several other th items up for bid tonight on Instagram and Facebook, so please check them out. All right, let's start the show because we're all ready to go. On drums tonight, we have Jonathan Wenzel. <laughs> on piano and organ, Joaquin Garcia. And on saxophone and composition, Roy McGrath. This is Roy McGrath Trio. Thanks, guys. So uh, before we start playing, I just want to uh, repeat what Chris said. So uh, tonight we're playing uh, for you, and we're playing for ourselves. Um, 120 concerts, that's pretty insane. I mean, everybody that's been here has been here almost every single night uh, producing concerts and just, you know, uh, making sure that Chicago has live music uh, and the musicians have an opportunity to uh, uh, play and keep their chops uh, sharp and uh, work on new compositions. Some people have been playing new music here. So uh, we're glad to be here. Uh, we hope uh, you enjoy our set. Remember, uh, this night is not for us. We're just going to be uh, some good music, hopefully, for you guys to enjoy. Uh, tonight is for uh, the Fulton Street Art Collective. And uh, hope you guys... Uh, open up that Venmo and, uh, and help them out because we want them here uh, next year and the year after that and I mean who knows hopefully we can make stories about 50 years from now they're still around um, so yeah uh, this next tune uh, this first tune excuse me is a uh, ballad by uh, John Coltrane entitled Naima uh, which uh, was adapted by Dave Samuels in the Caribbean Jazz Project into a cha-cha so this is a Caribbean Jazz uh, Project's version of Naima
Yes, Naima, the Caribbean uh, Jazz Project's version. Okay, so we're gonna continue by a, uh, we're gonna continue with a tune um, sort of recognized as a standard uh, in uh, just a Cuban uh, repertoire, just a Cuban real book, if you will, for the jazz musicians listening. Um, this is a tune by Miguel Matamoros called Son de la Loma. It's kind of like, a, a, just like, in, in many ways, one of the most uh, played Cuban tunes, uh, like in small uh, ensembles and pickup bands, you know? So this is gonna be our version of Son de la Loma. Um, and you know, uh, I just wanted to talk about this trio real quick, so obviously, you know, nobody's had any work uh, almost whatsoever for the last two years because of COVID, right? And uh, the few work that uh, uh, we've gotten has been either uh, public performances with very small ensembles or live streams like this one, you know? And uh, this band kind of uh, grew uh, out of the need to reduce the members of the band for like places with small uh, locales. Uh, that's why, uh, for anybody that's watching, Joaquin is holding down the bass uh, on the organ with his left hand and with his feet, which is, I think, pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, uh, of, of the three of us, I'm the one that does the least in the band. He's banging around over there and he's playing with all of his limbs and I just take a solo and then take a break. So, yay. Uh, anyway, this is Son de la Loma by Miguel Matamoros. Yeah, it's, it's you know, I, I'm the one that just gets, gets the call. <laughs> all right, here you go.
Son de la Loma. All right. Uh, we're going to bring it back to uh, uh, a tune uh, composed by a great uh, jazz saxophonist by the name of Wayne Shorter. Uh, and this is our little version of Yes and No. You be, you've been hearing from Jonathan Wenzel on the drum set and Joaquin Garcia on the organ. No, 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 no. Yeah, and uh, uh, again, just a reminder, uh, the reason we're here doing this live stream today is uh, uh, just, to, uh, just to benefit uh, the Fulton Street Art Collective uh, through your donations, if you are uh, so willing. You know, uh, before we play uh, Yes and No, I just wanted to uh, give one story. I'll give another story later. But uh, the first time that I played at the Fulton Street, uh, it was a couple months that I really wanted to play here, uh, and I kept emailing. And you know, I mean, he's, you know, Chris is busy, and they got a lot of stuff going on, so I wasn't just on the on, in the loop yet. But the first time I played uh, was uh, we did a tribute to Blue Train. Uh, and, uh, and it was pretty cool. I mean, we, we packed the house. Uh, uh, I've never seen so many people in here before, and it was a great night. We had uh, Victor Garcia on trumpet, Chris Shuttleworth on, on trombone, and, uh, and it was a very special night. It kind of cemented uh, the beginning of, uh, of what I consider to be my band for the album that I would release a year later. And uh, I remember that after the show, uh, like Chris asked me, Chris asked me if uh, if I was willing, because so many people showed up. He asked me if I was willing to, uh, uh, like, uh, part with some of uh, the proceeds so that he could buy chairs, because they were they were at at a at a point in which uh, they didn't have enough chairs, and when people would show up and they would just stand in the back, uh, and uh, after that they they just bought bought a bunch of chairs, and then like you know they could uh, have more people uh, more comfortable. So, you know. Like we've seen this, we've seen this place grow from the beginning, and uh, you know, uh, live music is uh, not a thing right now. So this is as live as it gets, and uh, they've been putting on show after show, and it's been great to hear. So so please donate because we want them to literally keep going. You know, yeah. it, it would break my heart if in a couple months we just hear that a place closes. You know, uh, not just this, but everywhere in Chicago. You know, so so yeah. Anyway, uh, this is Yes or No by uh, Wayne Shorter.
Yes and no, yes and no. All right, so we're going to continue uh, with uh, a tune that was meant to be played by an orchestra, and we decided to play it uh, between three people. Uh, this next tune is a very famous uh, danza, uh, written by Abelardo Vares uh, and uh, played by the Orquesta Aragón. This is Almendra. Uh, if you, uh, if, if, if you, Almendra means almond, and uh, uh, in case you don't know how to write Almendra, just Google almond in Spanish, Almendra, and then write Orquesta, and uh, that should be enough for you to check out one of the coolest uh, uh, orchestrated danzas uh, just in the history of Latin music. Um, and uh, we're going to reduce this to the three of us. And um, we're going to take a set break after this. Uh, so you've been hearing from Jonathan Wenzel on the drum set and Joaquin Garcia on the piano. My name is Roy McGrath, and this is our little version of Almendra. Thank you. 
You know what? We're going to play one more tune. We're going to play one more tune. Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel like we cut that a little bit short. Uh, let's, uh, let's do Mama Ines. Let's do Mama Ines. So uh, the next tune we haven't rehearsed at all, but uh, we played it a long time ago, and it's a fun tune, and it's pretty simple. So uh, we're going to have vocals on this one, actually. Uh, we're going to end by a tune that uh, uh, my favorite version is by Alfredo Rodriguez and Pedrito, Pedrito Martinez. Um, a lot of different people play it. It's called Ay Mama Ines. And uh, it's about Mama Ines. And uh, she says that todos los negros toman café because we all drink coffee. So this song is about Mama Ines and coffee. And we're going to play it. And Joaquin's going to give us a little intro. Joaquin plays that really sweet line. I'm just going to say we're dedicating this tune to Carmen Rodriguez. This is for you.
Give it up for Roy McGrath Trio, everybody. Jonathan Wenzel on drums. Joaquin Garcia on piano and organ. And on saxophone and composition, Roy McGrath. That is the end of set number one. We have yet another set for you, so please stick around. It's that time of the night where you can get involved with what we're doing here. The donation, virtual donation jar is on the lower right-hand side of your screen, so please visit it. Be kind and generous so we can keep doing these performances. We're going to zoom in on... Lewis's work and trampoline for the intermission, so check that out. You know how to bid on the artwork. You can also go to Instagram and Facebook to see other items that are up for bid. Uh, all right, we're going to take a short break. We'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes. Stick around.
All right, we are back. Welcome to set number two with Roy McGrath Trio. Please give a warm welcome back to the stage. Playing the drums this evening is Jonathan Wenzel. <laughs> on piano and organ, Joaquin Garcia. Yeah. And on saxophone and composition, Roy McGrath. This is the Roy McGrath Trio. All right, uh, how's it going, everybody? Thank you for uh, uh, sticking around after the set break. Uh, we're going to continue with a tune called Cachita. Thank you. 
cachitas al borotar y ahora baila el cha 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 cachitas al borotar y ahora baila el cha 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 We're going to continue with an uh, arrangement of a Thelonious Monk tune named Bench a Swing. Uh, this is an arrangement by Dave Samuels of the Caribbean Jazz Project. So this is Bench a Swing. Thank you. 
Bemcha Swing by uh, the Career Jazz Project. Uh, we're going to continue with a tune by uh, the. Uh, uh, I'm just going to uh, pedal back for a second and just say what I wanted to say. Uh, in the last like two weeks, we lost an incredible master of composition and uh, uh, improvisational playing on the piano, uh, the great Chick Korea. And uh, I, I don't know about y'all, but like I honestly don't. Uh, I mean, this might be an awkward thing to say, but I don't really tear up when a lot of greats pass away. But like, at least this guy, man, when he passed away, it really affected me. Like, Chikoria was such a big influence to me. Uh, and uh, saw him live like maybe once or twice. And uh, yep, he's not here anymore. So we're gonna play uh, a tune that he called Armando's Rumba. And uh, this is uh, Armando's Rumba by Chikoria.
Armando Zrumba. Now we're going to slow things down, and uh, so Joaquin's going to go to the piano. Uh, we're going to play a tune uh, by uh, uh, famous Cuban composer Ernesto Leguora. Um, this is uh, a very well-known uh, danza, uh, originally uh, written for a classical piano called uh, La Comparsa. So this is Ernesto Leguona's La Comparsa.
That was Joaquin Garcia on the piano. We're gonna bring back Jonathan Wenzel for one last tune. So uh, uh, just wanna remind everybody that the reason uh, that uh, tonight, uh, tonight's live stream is happening is because we are hosting a benefit for the Fulton Street Ar Art Collective. Um, we want them to keep going. We want them to have the funds to keep going. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, Mambo. Uh, this is just a little, uh, I mean, whatever you guys give today is going to help. Uh, it takes a lot to put this together. Uh, Chris Anderson is the guy in charge. We got uh, Ken running the sound. We got Harvey with the pictures. Uh, we got Jose running all the camera. And uh, we got Sue uh, just doing a bunch of stuff all over the place. And we got Lewis painting. Which, by the way, I've never seen anybody paint on a trampoline before, and I just gotta say, I just love Chicago just a little bit more because of you, man. You know. Uh, so uh, we got one more tune, please. Seriously, I'm gonna be. You know what? I'm gonna be a little bit strong right now. Give some money to them right now. Open your Venmo, your Quick Pay, your Cash App. Sell your stocks. Put your house on a mortgage. Okay. If you have a nice car or a really crappy car, sell both of them and give them a little bit of money, okay? Because we want more live music. 120 shows and going, and, we got, and they got more coming. Just imagine how good it's going to feel like in a year from now 
or hopefully less, when this whole room is filled with people and you get to say, you put a little money in the bucket so that they could keep going, you know? So I'm sorry if that offended anybody, but I just wanted to get that off my chest. So uh, yeah, Chris, Chris is very offended right now. So thanks guys. Uh, this last tune is a tune uh, which we play all the time, but just like Mama Ines, we haven't rehearsed at all. Uh, and this is uh, Chucho Valdez's Mambo Influenciado, or for those of you that don't speak Spanish, the Influenced Mambo. Sounds better in Spanish. Here we go.
All right, this is Roy McGrath trio, everybody. Jonathan Wenzel is on drums. Joaquin Garcia, piano, organ. On paints, brushes, canvas, and trampoline, Louis Ackenbach. Ackenbach. And on saxophone and composition, Roy McGrath. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are back here tomorrow night with Marcus Carroll's Trumpet Summit. Yeah. Uh, same time, same station. Uh, this is the time of the night where you can do what we'd like you to do. Uh, please take care of Fulton Street Collective so we can keep doing these performances. The virtual donation jar is on the lower right-hand side of your screen. Uh, please use it. Uh, we like to make everything accessible and free to you so you can enjoy these performances, but we do need your support, so please get involved. Um, this is very much, uh, has been from day one, all the way up to now and into the future, a collaborative effort. Uh, there are many people behind the scenes that make this work, and it cannot work without them. On sound tonight is Kenny Claymeyer. <laughs> Still photography, Harvey Tillis. Den Mother, Susan Grubb. Yeah. On video, Jose Valle. Yeah. So please be generous and kind. If uh, things are a little bit light, you can also, for free, subscribe to our YouTube channel so uh, you can catch these performances. All right, that's it for tonight. We're going to zoom in on Lewis's work. Please be kind and generous. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep your masks on.
it's a lovely day today. So whatever you've got to do, you've got a lovely day to do it in. That's true. And I hope whatever you've got to do is something that can be done. For I'd really like to stay. It's a lovely day today. And whatever you've got to do, I'd be so happy to be doing it with you. But if you got something that must be done, and it can only be done by one, then there's nothing more to say except it's a lovely day for saying. It's a lovely day. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes, Something without warning, love bears heavy on my mind. Then I look at you, and the world's all right with me. Just one look at you, and I know it's gonna be. When the day that lies ahead of me seems impossible to take, when someone else instead of me always seems to know the way, then I look at you, and the world's all right with me. Just one look at you. 